Hey fellow Backyard Boyers, Nick here. Welcome to another Flint Napping Fridays. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a very simple nail pressure flicker. These are also known as Ishi Sticks or Retouchers. Basically it's a pointed tool that's designed for pressing off flakes when you're flint napping. There are lots of variations on this. Today we're going to be doing a very simple version. This is pretty much the same as my first set of pressure flickers. The first thing you need is a piece of wood for your handle. I'm going to be using a piece of poplar dowel today. This is a three quarter inch dowel. Though you could use pretty much any branch or any size dowel. Though for this particular type of flaker, you don't want to use anything thinner than this because it's easy to split it out unless you drill a hole first. Next you're going to need a nail of some sort. I've got two different sizes of nails here and I'm going to be making two different flakers. One's going to be a little bit wider and will be a good general purpose flaker and then this one will be good for touch-ups and for doing some notching. Now these are steel nails. Steel nails will work for this. They tend to slip a little bit more than copper and you can find copper nails and if you have a copper nail available, you should go ahead and use that. Now Ishi was known to use iron nails, so these soft steel nails will work for this. So the first thing I like to do is just wrap a piece of paracord on the front of the flaker. You want, to be, you want this to be fairly tight and about as far as you think the nail can possibly go. We've got this secured. I'm going to move everything up just a little bit, just a little closer to the front. Make sure it's a little tight. And now we can drive our first nail. So you want to get your nail as centered as possible. Again, you want to try and drive it as straight as possible. Okay, so now I'm just going to remove my wrap. There it is. Okay, so I've gone ahead and cut off the tip. Now I'm just going to take this on my anvil and straighten this out a little bit. Bring it over to the edge of the anvil. You see there's a bit of an angle here. And I'm just going to strike it, turn it, strike it, turn it, strike it, turn it, strike it. Now that I've got a rough point hammered in, I'm just going to take a file and smooth it out. This will also help get rid of any cold shuts that I have or any pieces that might come apart. All right, here it is. So now I'm just going to take my rasp round off the top and the bottom just so it's a little more comfortable and then I'm going to sand this handle and finish it with beeswax. And then you want to finish it up by just buffing out the beeswax with a towel. Here they are finished up. I'm going to be cleaning this up and putting some notches in it. And we'll see how these do. Before I get started, I'm just going to take my abrader stone and lightly round the tip. Just a little bit. And also to abrade it and give it a little bit of a grip to it. So I'm starting with my slightly thicker pressure flaker here. I'm just going to go, you can see I've got some that are below the center line here, some good platforms. So I'm just going to rest right here, press in and there we go. You can see we've got a nice long flake.
I'm going to shear this edge. And I'm going to throw a couple of notches on here. And to do that, I'm going to use our smaller flaker. So I'm just going to abrade a little bit right around here where I'm going to put my side notches. And when I do notches, I like to work a little at a time. And what I mean by that is I'll take a couple flakes this way. And you want to make sure that your notch is wider than your flaker so that you don't accidentally hit it with the sides and break out a large piece. Clean up the sides as I go. Sometimes you'll get to the point where one of your notches gets messed up and it's easier to make the other one match if they're at the same stage. If one is completely finished, then you may have to ruin a perfectly good notch just to make it match. Or you could go with an asymmetrical piece. It's completely up to you. I'm not doing any particular style of point. Just kind of doing what looks cool. <laughs> So here they are all finished up. I hope you enjoyed making these with me today and if you have any suggestions for other things you'd like to see on Flint Nat Fridays, please let me know in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing, be sure to check out my channel for other videos like this. And I've also written several books on different topics and I'll put links to those in the description below. And if you'd like to support the channel in a more direct way, consider joining the Patreon family. It's because of the support of all of my patrons that I'm able to continue doing videos like this. And I'd like to thank all of my supporters on Patreon. Without your support, I wouldn't be able to do all of these new videos, especially with the way YouTube is going. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.